Thanks, Bree. Happy Halloween, everybody. These are this week's top stories in entertainment. R&B star Chris Brown checked himself into rehab for anger management yesterday after talks with his lawyer that this would probably be the best thing to do for himself. Brown's decision is coming off the heels of his arrest on Sunday after punching a man in the face in front of the W Hotel in Washington. Brown has also been known for allegedly hitting hip-hop star and former girlfriend Rihanna, getting into a parking lot altercation with R&B singer Frank Ocean, and of course the infamous bar fight with rapper Drake. Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore appear to have settled their divorce, and it is reported by sources that Moore will not receive any spousal support from Kutcher. TMZ was told by sources that Moore tried to get spousal support on the grounds that Kutcher cheated on her. However, since the divorce is taking place in California, a no-fault state, she is not entitled to any spousal support. As for the division of property, Kutcher had to give up more than he wanted to due to his recent success on the hit TV series Two and a Half Men. Pop singer Lady Gaga and California rapper Kendrick Lamar were added to the performance roster for this year's American Music Awards this week. Lamar and Gaga, who is trying to promote her new album Art Pop, which hits stores on November 11th, will also hit the stage with acts such as Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, Miley Cyrus, One Direction, Imagine Dragons, and Florida Georgia Line. Be sure to tune in to the award show on November 24th, when it will be broadcasted live from the Nokia Theater in Los Angeles. Finally, 11-time NBA All-Star Allen Iverson officially retired from the National Basketball Association last night, ending a 17-year professional career. Iverson announced his retirement just hours before the Philadelphia 76ers' first game of the 2013 regular season against the Miami Heat. Iverson was the Rookie of the Year back in 1996, won the Most Valuable Player Award in 2001, and led the 76ers to the NBA Finals in that same year. His number will be retired by the 76ers on March 1st of 2014. That's all for entertainment. Have an exciting and safe Halloween, everybody. Back to you, Bree. Thanks for that, Kyle. Well, this past week for Late Night Madness, Judd Gymnasium was turned into a roller skating rink for students to skate on. Our very own Katie Benoit was there to get the story. Check it out. On Friday night, students laced up their skates to rollerblade at Late Night Madness. Judd Union West was made into a roller skate rink with a live DJ and lights. Uh, having a great time here with my team. We're skating Friday night. Nothing better to do. It's fun time and it's awesome. Although the turnout was less than expected, those who did attend the event seemed to have fun. Much more difficult than it looks. It's fun. For SCTV3, I'm Katie Benoit. National news, a highly sophisticated drug tunnel was found in San Diego today. Law enforcement agencies found the tunnel that connects San Diego to Tijuana, Mexico, almost two years after they found a similar 600-yard tunnel along the U.S. border back in November of 2010, according to CNN. The tunnel found today contained an advanced rail system and also a lighting system. Well, it's not quite the tunnel like the one in San Diego, but the tunnel to the Super Bowl is halfway to the promised land. Candace Tibbetts has more on that and everything else in the sports world, including the Boston Red Sox becoming world champions in this week's sports segment. 